Today's 1989Batman.com merchandise spotlight is on Kenner's Batman movie collection, Batman Returns, Batman vs. Catwoman action figure 2-pack. The Batman movie collection was a series of 2-packs released at Toys R Us. I believe it was only at Toys R Us back in 1997, near the time where the Batman and Robin movie came out, um, kind of commemorating the other films that came before Batman and Robin. Um, as you can see, this pack is focusing on Batman Returns with a Batman figure and a Catwoman figure in one pack. Big Batman Returns movie logo and this kind of film strip motif along the whole packaging. And all the packaging kind of matches in this line. The Batman movie one has the Batman movie logo and the Batman Forever one has the Batman Forever movie logo. Uh, the back of the package shows all three two packs from the line. Batman and Joker from Batman. Batman and Catwoman, obviously from Batman Returns, and Batman and the Riddler from Batman Forever. And each one has a small blurb about its film. For the Batman Returns pack, it says Batman vs. Catwoman. It was the feline fatale Catwoman that had Bruce Wayne's heart and Batman's curiosity in Batman Returns. When the Cape Crusader finally got his hands on the killer kitty, he left her hair standing on end. Yeah, that's a lot of puns. Uh, so there's the packaging from the back one more time. And then here it is from the front before we take a look at the loose versions. So here we have Batman Catwoman out of the box. Um, I'm going to bring out the original releases of both of these figures for comparison, but I just want to show you them both together. Oh, and what all they come with, real quick here. Batman includes his cape, as you can see, along with this weird sort of bat symbol dish thing. We talk about this on the review, he just kind of holds it in his hand which is really strange, and then kind of, hey, look what I can do. You guys, you guys need me catch that in this thing I got? It's a really weird accessory, and it really doesn't make any sense. Um, after they included nothing at all, they include that thing, actually. A battering would have been nice. That would have been a cool thing to include. Catwoman includes her whip, which is the same as the original Batman Returns release Catwoman. Um, there are the two of them from the front. We'll spin him around. Here's Batman. Batman's backside. Catwoman here. Um, there's the two of them. Let's uh, let's take Catwoman out of the scene for a second. We'll bring in the original release of this figure was Firebolt Batman from Batman Returns, and as you can see, they're really similar. Um, this is the two-pack version. This is the single release back from Batman Returns. They're both done in this gold paint scheme with the, the black highlighting. The two-pack version has sort of a lighter skin tone than the Firebolt Batman, and the symbol is a little bit more um, gold than yellow, as this new version is. Um, both feature this, this leg squeeze feature, um, where you squeeze the leg and the arm goes up. Uh, it made sense with Firebolt Batman because it had to do with the action pack he had on doesn't make quite as much sense with the two-pack version because all you can do is lift up his little bat serving dish. Uh, but as you can see these two are, are very similar um, between the releases. There's really not much changed here. Would have been great had they done this in black instead of in the gold again, but we'll talk about that more when we get to the couch review portion. Alright, so let's put the two-pack Catwoman here. Let me see, do I have a stand floating around that I can maybe throw on this Catwoman for now? I don't think I do. Well, we'll just have to see how well she does at standing on her own. Which is probably not going to be that good. Hey, not bad. Alright, so here's the two Catwomen. Catwomen. Uh, that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get, really. Um, as you can see, the skin tone on the two-pack version is a lot lighter than the single-card version from Batman Returns. The black overall is just a bit on the, the flatter side for the two-pack over the original release. Um, and then she has, which you can barely make out in the video, she's got these uh, painted laces on her boots. They're painted in gray, and this one does not have painted gray laces. And the same goes for, if we can keep going around without falling down, the back of the corset. The laces are painted on the two-pack version, and they are not painted on the original single-car release. So the two-pack version, this time around, actually has more paint detailing than the original release did. Um, 
of course this is a video comparison and it's not that great you can't really tell the, the details in this kind of format so if you want to see the still pictures of this and you're watching on YouTube just hit the info section and it'll take you a link or give you a link to the 1989batman.com um, posting of this this two pack and you'll be able to see it um, in better comparison shots and things like that uh, but for now we're gonna grab all this stuff up we'll take it over to the couch and we will do the review hey everybody welcome to another 1989batman.com merchandise spotlight toy talk review whatever you want to call it yep this is our first one of these and there will only be two of these videos but as you can see from the opening sequence it's the Batman movie collection, Batman Returns, Batman vs. Catwoman 2-pack from 1997 when Batman and Robin came out. Uh, these were exclusive, I think, I'm almost positive they were exclusive to Toys R Us. These were exclusive packs that they released to commemorate each film as Batman and Robin was coming out. Um, Do you think that's a, why they did it when Batman and Robin was coming oh, out? Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure Batman was hot or whatever. Oh, Keaton, you wanted to say something, Blaze? Yes. Keen is playing Disney Infinity. Toy. Oh, cool. The toy. Oh, you got the bike toy? Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> so Keen's playing Disney Infinity down here while we're, we're recording this. Uh, so there was, it was the complete collection of Batman movie figures. Yeah. And basically it was just re-releases of two figures from each of those lines done in a two-pack and then brought back out at Toys R Us. And I remember when these were on the shelves and I thought it was a really neat idea. Um, I was a little bit iffy on some of the choices that they made figure-wise and kind of repaint-wise, but it was still cool. Right. You got a Batman and Joker from Batman, you got Batman and Catwoman from Batman Returns, and a Batman and Riddler from Batman Forever. Yep. Um, the Batman Returns pack features the a repaint of the Batman Returns Kenner Catwoman, and a just almost a straight re-release of the Batman Firebolt Batman from any, Batman Returns. Is there any change whatsoever? Uh, well, hang on, let's talk about the packaging okay. and we'll talk about, we'll compare the figures out. I really liked this packaging. It was great. I think it's really cool. You've got this kind of just neat Batman movie collection thing with a film strip along the top. Right. You've got that movie logo and then the Batman Returns down there. It's just, it's really neat to incorporate that movie logo so huge on this packaging. Right. And then like kind of the movie reel type thing that's obviously commemorating a movie. And it's, it's just so neat to see something from a movie that was five years old at this time. And right. Batman was, was eight years old at that time, sitting on a shelf. It was kind of, other than maybe Star Worlds, Star Wars, whatever you want to call it, uh, other than that, I can't really think of another movie that was still only having product that, uh, uh, that was brand new product, this isn't brand new in that it's a repaint, but product that's available again in the stores years down the line based right. on that movie. So but, I thought it was kind of neat to see that on the show. Right, you couldn't really get those figures in store anymore, so if you missed out, there's a chance for you to get... Yeah, if you were into that movie, it, especially if you were going to see Batman and Robin, which is a turd, if you were going to see that and you'd watch the other ones on VHS... You paid extra just... I paid extra to see it. Let's not bring up bad early. memories. Early. <laughs> Let's not bring up bad memories. It was funny. Um, so if, like, it's a good point that you're bringing up, though. If you were watching those on video and you wanted those toys... That's a great way. Right. If you went to the store and you saw those, you'd be like, wow, that's awesome. This is from Batman we watch on VHS. eBay wasn't around then. It, it may have been. It may have been just starting back in 97. I mean, you couldn't get as much since it was just starting. Though. Yeah. You didn't have everything on Exactly. Alright, so the Batman we'll start with, and it is, like I said, just a, kind of a re-release of the Firebolt Batman from Batman Returns. Well, hang on, let me see which one's which. I gotta remember. This one, the one you're holding is the Firebolt Batman, okay. and the one I'm holding is the one from the Toys R Us 2-pack. Now, you're watching the video here, and you're not going to see it. I'll, I'll just hang on to it, because okay. they're not going to see him anyway. It's yeah. just more for us to talk. In the opening sequence, you'll have seen them side by side. And if you go hit the info section of this video, you'll get a link to the entry on 1989batman.com yep. with the still pictures that will give you a better idea. But the differences are pretty minimal. I mean, they're both gold Batmans, black belts, black gloves, black boots. The skin tone is a little bit lighter on the re-release. But, and maybe the, the, it's a little dingier overall in coloring, but they both had this, this action feature where you squeeze the legs and the arm goes up. So it reminds me of a superpowers toy. Yeah, it kind of does. If, you could, if they made like a loose-fitting battering, you could squeeze You could have thrown it, it yeah. yeah. Um, the thing that's disappointing about this, and we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. in this two packs, in, or in these two packs, you get a repaint of Batman. He's sort of like in a purplish color in the Batman 89 pack. Uh -huh. You get a repaint of Joker where he's a totally different paint scheme. You get a different kind of paint job on Catwoman, but yet we get Firebolt Batman, which is the one figure that could really use a repaint, mm. 
And he's gold again. Yeah. It doesn't even make sense to use a gold when... I, well, I understand why they used this. Because it was the closest one to the Batman Returns outfit. It had new leg sculpts, new arm sculpts, and even had that chest piece that you put on it that was like the Batman Returns armor. So I understand why they chose this one, because it was the closest to a Batman Returns outfit. Your eyes okay? Yeah. Um, but I don't understand why they just brought it out in gold again. Why didn't they bring this out in black? <sighs> Silly. He also comes with a weird accessory that is some kind of weird Batman radar dish thing that Blaze and I have discovered also makes a great trick-or-treat candy-serving dish. You put it in his hand, you squeeze his legs. Like, yeah. Throw yeah, there you go. You just hand it out. You hand out the candies with this but, thing. Oh, remember the scene in Batman Forever? It was like trick. It was two faces. Oh, two faces yeah. at the door. Yeah, with trick or tweak or tweet. Ah, whatever. Um, <laughs> so it's. I don't even understand where this accessory came from. It's. I. I get. I guess it's like a Batman Forever or you know something like that. But you know how we were saying that weren't weren't they trying to get in the back cave when they? Like, knocked Alfred out. Yeah, yeah. So they're like, yes, no, we weren't completely sure, but now that he has all this weird surf. Yeah, we know it's definitely him. Yeah, I, I, don't, I just don't get this thing. And they don't even mention on the packaging what it's supposed to be. It's just kind of there. <laughs> I don't get it. So they included that for some reason. Let's move on to Catwoman, who I think is, is the better release of the set. This Catwoman that they brought out in, in this pack is a slightly more flat colored black, it has a paler skin to the face. And it's got paint detailing where the shoelace or where the laces are on the boots and paint detailing on the laces on the corset, which is kind of neat. It kind of gives a little more detail to the sculpt than it had before. Um, I think that the eyes may be a little bit painted a little too big on this this two pack version, but it's lost the world the, uh, world the weird kind of purple highlighting above the eyes, and the paler skin I think works a little bit better. Okay, see, that's what I was trying to say. I didn't know which. I thought this one actually had the paler skin. No, it, it's, okay, the, it's, it's the it's the yeah, Toys R Us two pack that has the paler the one skin. This has the better paint job. Yeah, for a while there, I thought that maybe the the two pack version was kind of crappier compared to the the single recurrent release. But now that I'm, I've got it out and I'm looking at them side by side, I think that maybe the the Batman movie yeah. collection, Batman vs Catwoman, has it over the single card Catwoman. Mm -hmm. Especially those those painted laces right, and the painted there. strings in the back. I think that that brings out some detail that wasn't there before. They have detail here, but it's, it's not painted. painted. Yeah. So uh, that just that little tiny bit of paint maybe sets this one apart a little bit. Yeah. Kind of pushes it up. The paler skin. The paler skin definitely helps. The eyes are a bit big. Like they they made the pupils kind of huge, um, but they're kind of weird and tiny on this one. I was about one. to say something I can't really say because Keaton's down yeah, here. Yeah, we don't want to mention anything uh -huh. Batman Returns. Any kind of spoilers while he's down here. Um, so, for this pack, the Batman's kind of a wash, mm -hmm. but the Catwoman's pretty cool and maybe yeah. worth picking up over the single card Catwoman. You don't get the taser gun thing, but you do get her whip again, and the whip is the same, it's just this rubbery kind of material stuff. Mm -hmm. Fits right in the hand, she still has the action feature where she whips. If you do it hard enough, it can actually, it can actually give, hurt. Yeah. yeah, it can actually give you a welt. Um, this pack is pretty cheap, if you can find it online. Um, usually when they close at auction... Not buy it now, but it was just regular auctions. They'll close at like 15 bucks or something like that. Right. And, I mean, the original retail was 11 99 so that's not much of original retail so far down right. the line, you know? Um, Especially for something that's a little bit older now. Yeah, it's pretty old now. Uh, again, if you want to check out pictures of this piece, you'll find them in the info section if you're watching this on YouTube over at 1989batman.com. And uh, I guess that's it for this one, yep. right? So we'll see you guys next time.